could you look me in the eyes? How could you do that? How could your heart let that happen? I'm laughing at her. You can't get your face right now. I know your heart feels this. I feel my racism. I know you feel your privilege. This is a recruitment rally. This is a neo Nazi recruitment rally that you guys are protecting. Where are they? Which are the Nazis? Milo's Jewish. Hey guys, it's Fleckas. This week we're at Berkeley for Free Speech Week. That got canceled, but we're still having a day of free speech anyway. Fleckas talks. I think the police are not here to protect the people because they are uh, promoting hate speech. How does that work? Well, because what they're doing is they're allowing uh, sick people like Yiannopoulos and Coulter and Bannon and these sick people to uh, promote hate speech and to go ahead and basically brainwash Americans into believing that uh, it's okay to cull people and to put them into camps. Well, they're pro-misogyny. So what, in what way, though? How do they, uh, which way do they do that? Uh, by being pro-misogynist and by espousing pro-misogynist rhetoric, right? I don't agree with his views, no. Which I, are you uh, not happy with? Um, I think he's just... Mm. Did he say something that you just don't like? Um, I can't pick out a quote in particular. Why do you not like Trump, sir? Chica su madre Trump, f Trump. We're trying to protect people from the rise of Nazis and fascism in the United States, and these, these guys are listening to it. If they really believed that Nazis and fascism were rising in the United States, they would turn the other way and go take down that PA. I totally take agree. If the cops thought there was fascism and Nazis in the U.S., they would turn around and stop it. I agree. I totally agree. Yeah, I'm just wondering who's the guy we're yelling at. Off our streets. Who's the guy? Which is the guy? Which guy? The guy that we're. The... Okay, I don't know you. Okay, but just tell me who. I don't we... know you. Don't talk. All right, that's the one way to live. So I'm sure you find a lot of swastika tattoos. Uh, Have you seen any of the Nazi KKK people today? Yeah. Why, why are they chanting Nazi scum off our streets at you? Are you a Nazi? No, I'm not. This is weird. It doesn't make any sense then. Indian, yeah. Dude, just today they called me a white supremacist. Every white supremacist in the country supports Donald Trump. Every Black Panther supported Obama. And the, I would argue that the Black Panthers are way better than the KKK or any white supremacist. The same thing on the other side. It's just identity politics using violence. But making the argument that you're Indian doesn't necessarily make you not a Nazi. How much of his base do you think is the KKK? A large amount. All, the only people who care about him is the left. They're like, oh my god, here's David Duke. Oh my god, here's David Duke. The right doesn't care. Like, he is like, he would go unrecognized because no one cares. Exactly. No one what, about, cares. Okay, what about Robert Byrd and the left and the, and the Clintons and Obama connections with Robert Byrd? Who's Robert Byrd? Milo Yiannopoulos is a huge liar. Milo is encouraging people to do things like run over protesters with cars like was done in Charlotte. He's not all right, though. The night. Milo's not all right. Why do you say that? He's not. He's disavowed it. Today, he disavowed it multiple times. What is it that you have against Milo? What's something he said? What's something that makes you here today? Um, I'm not an expert on Milo Yiannopoulos. There are people that you should be interviewing. You're Apache? Do you like helicopters being named after your people? Do you mind helicopters even named after your people? Nah, nah. Charlottesville, never again. Charlottesville, never again. Really, the people who sh should be supporting free speech are the people who normally have marginalized voices, people who speak against oppression. Um, and as soon as we start letting the government or mobs determine what form of speech is legitimate, uh, it's a very slippery slope. That's, that's the beginning of fascism. When you start taking away people's rights to freedom and illegal search and seizure, you know, for, to be safe. When it comes to taking rights away from freedoms, though, wouldn't you say that taking away the First Amendment right from Milo is well, falling see, into see, that the, same the, thing? The thing is, the First Amendment does not protect hate speech. The First Amendment does, it does though. It does. Yeah, it's like a free market. If you want to come out here and have a KKK rally and spew KKK white supremacy, I don't think you're going to recruit many people from Berkeley, California to be like, oh, KKK sounds pretty good. You know, it's not, it's not what's going on here. Right. And if you are, then it's our imperative, really, to try to rally culturally 
and through conversation try to dissuade people from joining a rally like the KKK's. You cannot get together and incite a riot. And when you say that, that's, but that's a solution to a problem that incites a riot. Who said that? Uh, Ann Coulter sure did. She said that they need to get death squads together so they can go ahead and uh, take care of the immigration issue. Do you think if Ann Coulter had more power, she would do that? I think we're done. Yeah, I think so too. I have a friend who was killed by an illegal immigrant. And like the President Nieto of Mexico, he actually has connection to the cartel. There's a lot of human trafficking, oh, yeah. and there's a lot of crime problems that the Mexican government is turning a blind eye to. Immigrants are welcome here! We banned Italians, not necessarily we, we hated Italians in the early 1900s, but there was a lot of mafia, and there was these Italian anarchists who were doing terrorist acts. Sometimes it's good to regulate who comes in and who doesn't. This country was built by immigrants! We're here, and we're not fucking leaving! Are you an immigrant? Hell yeah! Here to stay! Motherfucker! My family is illegal immigrants. I'm the product of illegal immigrants and I'm white. Go with the fascism! What? Go with the fascism! Go with the fascism! Liberal immigration policies will not solve global poverty and humanitarian issues. This is regressive. It's about forward and backward. It's not about left and right. But there's so many people that. Trump is backwards. Here at Free Speech Week, we don't talk to Nazis. Yeah, me neither. I also don't talk to Nazis. I've never even seen a Nazi. I am a human being who studies history. Who did you vote for? Who did I vote for? Who did you vote for? Donald Trump. Yeah. I guess we're done now. Why? That was weird. Well, Get great. out of my face, bro. You're in my face? Okay. Good talking to you. Nice another leftist. All right, we're here with Pranav. Pranav, what's going on? Pranav, uh, Pranav is the editor of the Berkeley Patriot. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's going on here today? What's happening behind us? Uh, well, so we had to pull out of the event it, it, because of a lot of different factors. People kind of don't know the full situation. Um, there are you know, issues on the administrative side, issues with other you know, co-hosts and co-sponsors. It became a situation um, that we just had to get out of because of the complicated nature of the situation. Um, and, you know, we, we felt like it wasn't going to result in a positive outcome. Um, they were threatening you guys, saying if anything yeah, exactly. happens, you're liable for all the damages exactly. and the costs, which would be astronomical. Last time it was millions of dollars, know, right? Right. And, and the thing is... A bunch of college kids. Imagine getting that threat. That chick is pressing people. They didn't give us the proper information that we needed to go ahead and submit the fees, to go ahead and submit the contract. There's this thing, I'm getting technical here, but there's this thing called a force majeure clause that protects us from liability. When they gave us the contracts, they said, okay, you have three hours to sign this. We said, wait, there's no force majeure clause. What happens if we're, you know, liable for something? They said, there's no mistake, go ahead and sign it. So we couldn't go ahead and sign it. That's why we missed deadlines over and over and over. Because the administration didn't up upheld their end of the promise. They didn't include what is standard in all different types of contracts, whether it be fees or just contracts with speakers. So it was, it was stifled because of bureaucratic measures. They didn't want this event to happen from the beginning, and they did everything that they could to try and you know, throw sticks in the spokes of, of this event. And I guess they were successful. But we will not be intimidated, and we will not be deterred. We're going to keep fighting. They're just a bunch of communist scumbags. They are communists. I agree with that. 